Important safety measures. The system or relevant system section, the valve and its accessory devices must be switched off and secured according to applicable regulations and directives. It must be ensured that the relevant pipe section and valve are free of overpressure and vacuum and that the prevailing internal and external temperature does not pose a danger for personnel. It must also be ensured that the relevant pipe section and valve are free of corrosive substances that are hazardous to health and that additional suitable measures for protecting personnel have been implemented according to applicable regulations and directives. It must be ensured that all work is carried out solely by qualified personnel using suitable tools and equipment approved for the work. If necessary, qualified protection personnel and suitable safety equipment must be provided. The operating and maintenance instructions for valves and accessories are to be strictly observed. Move the valve into the open position. Loosen the connecting screws of the valve actuator and valve body diagonally and remove them. Carefully lift the valve actuator off the valve body. Move the valve to the closed position. In the case of manual valves, ensure that the compressor is still in the outer guide. With diaphragm size 8, the shutoff diaphragm is held in the two-piece compressor via a rubber pin. Carefully pull the shutoff diaphragm out of the compressor on one side. Do not use a tool for this. Inspect the diaphragm, the valve actuator or bonnet, and the valve body for damage and any impairment. Record the exact valve or part characteristics. If need be, purchase new original parts. If a change is envisaged to the valve actuator, valve body, connection geometry, or the diaphragm version, the modification must be recorded in the system documentation. Move the valve actuator to the closed position. In the case of manual valves, ensure that the compressor is located in the outer guide. For diaphragm size 8, the shutoff diaphragm is square. It can be installed in four positions. The compressor has two parts and is firmly attached to the valve spindle. Fit the shutoff diaphragm in the compressor with a turning movement while pressing it in at the same time. Do not use any lubricant or tool for this. Position the hole pattern of the shutoff diaphragm so that it corresponds to the hole pattern of the valve actuator flange. Move the valve actuator into the open position. The valve actuator must be aligned so that the compressor is aligned with the sealing weir of the valve body. Only two positions are possible. Carefully place the valve actuator with the mounted shutoff diaphragm on the valve body and fit the threaded bolts evenly diagonally by hand. 
Only put on the screws and do not tighten yet. Move pneumatic and motorized valves into the closed position and manual valves into the half closed position. Tighten the screws diagonally in a minimum of three steps with a suitable tool. The shutoff diaphragm must be compressed parallel between the flanges by 10 to 15 percent of its original thickness. Afterward, the shutoff diaphragm must exhibit a uniform outer curvature around the circumference. Now test the valve for functioning and tightness. If no impairments are discernible, the valve can be put into operation again. If the valve is leaking or exhibits functional faults, it must be removed again, examined and reassembled. Owing to the setting behavior of elastomers, the compression of the shutoff diaphragm must be checked and, if necessary, retightened before putting the system into operation. This must also be done after the first sterilization. We recommend checking the valves regularly in operation. After each time the diaphragm is changed and the shutoff diaphragm retightened, the position of the opening limits and seal adjusters, travel sensors of electric position indicators, as well as position and process controllers must be checked when putting into operation and, if necessary, readjusted or recalibrated. Always follow the operating and assembly instructions for this. Half open the manual valve. Unscrew the locking screw. Remove the hand wheel and put on again upside down. Close the valve as far as the required position, depending on requirements, tightly closing or at a minimum flow setting. Turn the adjusting ring all the way down. Replace the hand wheel the right way up. Screw the locking screw in again.